52 Traders, episode 51. What made me different? I don't think I was any different. I actually think I was one of the worst traders I've ever seen. Over the next year, your host, Cam Hawkins, gets inside the minds of 52 of the world's best traders to find out if he has what it takes to become one of them. Join Cam every week on the 52 Traders podcast or at 52traders.com to learn how to trade like the pros. This podcast is for educational and entertainment purposes only and is not investment, trading, or financial advice of any kind. Trading is very risky and could lose you all of your capital. Any comments about historical performance are not an indication of future results. What's up, traders? Welcome to another installment of the 52 Traders Podcast. I'm your host, Cam Hawkins, and today we have Sean Campbell on the show. Now, Sean is a discretionary Forex trader with over eight years of experience, of which the last two have been as a full-time trader. He's also the author of the book, Inventory Trader, or sorry, Inventory Trading, and he loves passing on his knowledge and experience to other traders so that they don't make the same mistakes as him which is very good. Uh, today, I've made it at the show a little bit more interesting, so I have left a promo code somewhere in the show. So you guys listening, keep an ear to the ground for that. And anyone that picks up the promo code, uh, the first five people that use it on my shop at automatemytrading.com, you will get an automated version of the strategy that Sean reveals at the end of the show. Okay, so I went away and built this into a trading robot, so you can download that for free for five people if you grab that promo code, and it's a bit of a race to do it. So the first five are going to get it for free. It's sitting in the shop at automatemytrading.com forward slash shop. Okay, so a bit of fun in the episode today. I'll also leave a link on the uh, in the show notes on 52traders.com. Just search for Sean, S-H-O-N-N, and you'll find, the blo- uh, you'll find the post where there will be a link to his trading robot in the shop. Okay, guys, so without further ado, let's get on with the show. Welcome, Sean. Thanks for joining me here on the 52 Traders podcast this week. Cam, thanks for having me, man. This is pretty cool. Well, it's a pleasure to have you on. So uh, I've mentioned some of your highlights already, and I know that's just a small part of your story. So can you give the listeners a bit more about you personally and what first attracted you to trading? Yeah, absolutely. So I've been trading for uh, close to eight years now. Um, Started out in stocks, uh, I think where everybody does. I read some books on it and uh, was thinking to myself, man, I need I need a, a better way to make some money in this life uh, instead of uh, instead of the normal job. And um, got interested in stock trading. Tried to do that for a little while. Wasn't super successful at it. Um, and then uh, one day came across the idea of the foreign exchange, the currency markets, and absolutely just just fell in love with it. I think that was probably. I don't know, full, no, five years ago, about five years ago, um, and and haven't looked back since. I've been a a, a pure retail currency trader ever since then. Um, I I think the uh, the thing that attracted me to trading at first is the um, the idea of the competition of it. Okay, I was a I was a, a an athlete in high school and college and. Um, I always looked at this as sort of a competitive venture, right? Like, like being able to play the game and, and something that I set out and thought I could, um, set out to do was, uh, become really good at it, you know, become, become a master at this game. And so, uh, that's been the, 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 uh, um, pursuit I've been on ever since is just, you know, become really good at this and, and making the money will, you know, eventually comes along right yeah well you'd like to think so and, and, and what do you do outside of trading um i am a, a high school football coach still i still love, love athletics and still um love to be around competition um uh, <laughs> i have a an amazing family wife and three kids and uh we live here in colorado and we do a lot of outdoor activities we love to hike and uh we're getting the kids into snowboarding this year so uh, we love to be outdoors and, and do do fun fun stuff uh, as a family. Cool. Yeah. I mean, I you you snowboard yourself, do you? Yeah. Well, 
I was I was pretty good when I was younger, but uh, you know I haven't been in a few years, so we're all we're all going back into it. So we're gonna see if I can keep my bones intact. <laughs> yeah, I, I used to, I did it I did learn how to do it once, and uh, it was it was painful. It was very painful for me. So I only I, I did it one week, and then I was like, right, that. And I did it one other time after that, and after that I was like, okay, I've had enough. My body can't take I, it. Anymore. I still remember. Yeah, I still remember the uh, the body damage my first time going. I swore I'd never do it again, but uh, once you get the hang of it, it's pretty fun. I'm hoping it's like a bicycle where I can just pick it back up again. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you will. Right, so for, <laughs> for those listening for the first time, we're about to enter the round I like to call the fundamentals. Now, this is where I'll be asking Sean to tell us stories that will help you understand what makes him a successful trader. So... First up, can you give the listeners some insight into your trading, your trading style, strategy you use, time frames, winning percentages, instruments, those sorts of things? Okay, so that was the first part of the show. Now, to hear the full episode, the best bits, join the family at 52traders.com. They usually go for about 45 minutes to an hour long, and trust me, these shows are great. They give us so much insight. Now, if you want to get there quickly, all you need to do is jump into the show description on your phone, and there's a link taking you directly to 52traders.com, where you can join the family over there and listen to the full episode. Now, in the rest of the show, I cover off what my traders do differently from the rest of us. So what, are they, what is it that they're doing that we're not doing? What their typical trading day looks like? What they would do if they had a day job now and wanted to trade for a living? Their preferred trading strategy, so actually how does it work? What we should be educating ourselves on when we're looking at a price chart, so what indicators we should use, what price levels, what chart patterns, all those sorts of things. Also, we touch on fundamentals as well, so how do we use news to our advantage? Trading psychology, tips, tricks, techniques, we go through those. Exiting trades, managing trades that you've got running. So we talk about their strategies. They give you strategies for exiting and managing trades. Books to read, websites to visit, all the best ones. Something that you should try and master over the next month. The broker and platform they use. And finally, last but not least, they give us a full trading strategy. So something you guys can try out at home on your PC this week in the markets if you wish. Now, to get the full episode, you need to jump onto 52traders.com, join the family. As I said, it usually goes on for 45 minutes to an hour, and there's a link in the show description, so if you're on your phone, just jump on there, tap the link, and it'll take you straight to 52traders.com. Now, if you're thinking about learning to automate any of your trading, hiring a developer, learning to code, that sort of thing, then before you do that, jump onto my other website, automatemytrading.com. So if you're interested in automating some or all of your trading, then jump onto automatemytrading.com and you'll see me over there. For now, to hear the rest of this episode, all you need to do is click on the link in the show description or go to 52traders.com. See you there.